What's up, what's up? All right, so today I'm going to uh, do a little quick video on how I rip these two by fours. I've already done a couple here, but just want to show you how simple this really is um, to do. And good thing about it is, as you can see here, where's my thing? You know, when you go to big box stores and you buy your lumber, you get a uh, one and a half by three and a half. So I don't know if you can see that. Let me get up in here. As you can see, it's actually two inches there. You know, it gets a little thin in some places. That's how that happens. But if I want an actual two by four, I can cut an actual two by four or two by six or two by eight or whatever, depending on the girth of the tree. So we're going to go ahead and do that real quick. Tools that you'll need, of course, you need a hammer. Well, depending on if you have log dogs. These, I'm gonna make a separate video on how to make these because these are extremely simple to make as well. And when I first tried to find these on the internet, it was dang near impossible. I think I found one guy that was making them and I don't know, he was selling like a two or a four pack for well over a hundred dollars. And that was just ridiculous. You can go buy you a piece of steel at any big box store i don't know around like 25 bucks or something and you can make them yourself and you can make multiple out of it so it'll be a piece of steel like this now of course this is shorter but um if i can find a longer piece i'll make bigger ones but it doesn't really matter i mean as long as you can get it over the top of your uh slab then you're good to go so so we got our log dogs we got our hammer we got our chalk line, we got our pencil, and we got our uh, carpenter square, and then a chainsaw, of course, and that's really all you need to do this. So let's go ahead and get started. Oh, and some eye protection. And if you wanna wear some ear protection, probably wouldn't hurt either. I typically don't for this. All right. Here's my slab. Now, I did not cover them up like I was supposed to, so you can see they're starting to get discolored some. But I mean, some of that will come off. All right. All right, so what you wanna take into account when doing this is that since the tree is round, it will taper on one side. Uh, so you can either cut it on the short side, or what I do a lot of times is I know that when I'm cutting, on um, this side, I'm going to lose a quarter of an inch and I'll show you why because I cut on the inside of the line and I'll explain that. So what I'll do a lot of times is I'll make it right at that edge because I know I'm gonna go on the inside so I have more meat on this side. So then by the time I, or you know, you can even go a quarter of an inch over. So by the time you get to the bottom, you'll be at this thin part, so. It makes it easier a lot of times if you cut it on the um, the wider side and take that into account. So let's do that. Okay, so when you are doing this, what you're gonna wanna do is on the log or the table or whatever you use to cut on, you wanna make sure that this board hangs over far enough that you're only cutting the board and you're not cutting your log as I've done numerous times. It happens. So, we're gonna hang it over the edge. I usually put my fingers underneath to get a good feel for it. Then we're gonna take our log dog. And we're just gonna crank it down just like that. I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. I already got my dog there. All right. Good deal. Now, if this was wide enough that you could get two two by fours out of it, which this one is not, uh, I could probably get a two by six out of this if I really wanted to, but I've already cut some two by fours, so I'll probably just stick with that. Although a two by six down the middle might be good. I don't know. I don't know anything about construction. Anywho, so, um, what I would do is if it was wide enough to get two two by fours is I would measure the center of the thinner side 
because typically it, when you're, you know, you're cutting a tree, as a tree grows, it gets thinner, you know, well, it does, it just hasn't gotten wider, I guess, really, is, is how that works. I don't, I don't I'm not a tree expert, but anyway, so I measure from the center out my four and a quarter inches, and then what I would do on the, the same thing on the wider end is I would measure from the center out, and then I would snap my line and then cut from there. But since I'm probably only gonna get one out of this guy, um, actually, let's measure it and see. We'll measure the thin side down here. Yeah, see, I'm only at like seven and three quarters, so there's no way I get two two by fours. I can get a two by six though, because um, I'd lose half an inch in cutting and actually you're gonna cut three times, so I would lose three quarters of an inch, which would only put me at seven inches total, and that's not gonna be enough. It would be for big box store, would, but I don't wanna do that. So, you know what? Maybe I will make this a two by six, just cause I've never done that before. All right, so, like I said, I'll measure up from down here. So that's where my line is gonna go, right there. Actually, I could go in more. So when I do it, we're good. All right, so. Now we're gonna take our chalk line. We're gonna snap this line. Hopefully it won't break. This guy loves to break on me. Loves to do it. Messing up all my chalk. All right. So we'll get our line. See, as you can see, as you come down it, since this is the wider end, you can see how much more meat I have on this side versus the other side. We'll snap that line. Hopefully I can see it. Yeah, you can see it all right. Now, let's get to cutting. One side down now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and flip it around and we'll do the other side all right so all right make sure we hang it over the edge again go ahead and get her in place Okay, now, so like I said, if I wanna make this a two by six, what I'm going to do is I'll measure out to six and a quarter inches. So let's go ahead and measure that out. We're gonna go six and a quarter. Should be right there. We'll go six and a quarter on this side. All right. So the reason I'm going six and a quarter if I want a six inch is because what I realized when I first started doing this, like I would try to get every little inch out of the wood. So I would try to cut it on the outside. But what I realized when cutting on the outside, you have to lean over the chainsaw. And what happens when you lean over the chainsaw? 
chainsaw starts to lean too. And then you have a nice uh, incline on your wood there. And it really makes it a pain in the butt when you're trying to, um, to, uh, to build with it. So what I realized is if I cut on the inside of the line, then I'm looking straight down the blade here and it keeps it straighter. So my line stays straight and this, the edge stays flat. So go ahead and snap our line. Like I said, I don't, this thing is the worst about catching. All right. So there's our line. Cut her up. Oh, let me make sure. Yeah. See, oh, yeah, right here. You can't see it, but I can feel it right here. This line is on this side. Oh, and all the way down, it definitely is. So what that means, is I'm gonna go ahead and pull this up, and I'll pull this out. There we go. Put it back in. Now, Go ahead and cut it, typically with my little wood. Oh, I lost them. I'm gonna have to find, I used to have some pieces of wood right here. So when you have big chunks like this, once you get down to the edge, like if you're ripping a whole two by four, um, I'll put that wood there so when it drops, it doesn't rip the end out. But since this is shorter, and uh, I'm not going to be keeping this piece. I'll show you what I do typically when I get down to the end. That way you don't get a huge rip down here. I did once I got close down to the end here I went ahead and cut it off that way it didn't rip this corner from the weight of it dropping down all right so there's my two by six I'm gonna go ahead and rip a bunch more of these probably two by fours two by sixes and then I'm gonna take them down to my campsite and uh, start building with them all right Thanks for stopping in. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions or comments at all, please feel free to put them down there. I will get back to you on those. And uh, catch you next time.